The Bahama now has daily cruise service to Palm Beach, Florida. The Bahamas Tonight Northern Edition starts now. This is The Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition. Good evening, all. I'm Megan Shepard. Thank you so much for tuning in. Topping the news, when it comes to Grand Bahamas tourism industry, Florida is considered a lucrative market. And the opportunities for business from that area have just increased as another cruise line has commenced service from that state. Paradise Cruise Lines has introduced a second ship, and now Grand Bahama can boast of daily service from the port of Palm Beach. Italia Hall has the story. Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line newest vessel, the MV Grand Classica, features an upgraded passenger experience, a number of dining options, casinos, and live entertainment. The vessel has a total of 10 passenger decks, a gas capacity of 1,680, and 658 staterooms. Government officials, travel agents, tour operators, taxi drivers, and the media were all invited on board the ship for a tour and reception. Director of the Ministry of Tourism, Grand Bahama, Karen Seymour, says now that the MV Grand Classica has joined the Grand Celebration, they can promote daily departures to West Palm Beach, Florida. The increase in visitor arrivals will positively impact local transportation providers um, and, and stimulate the need for entrepreneurs to expand the number of unique tourist attractions and vacation experiences that will differentiate Grand Bahama from the competing destinations in the region. Additionally, in accordance with our agreement with our partners at Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line, the opportunities for Bahamian citizens with an interest in joining the fast-growing global tur cruise tourism sector and desire a maritime career will be actively encouraged and cultivate it. CEO of Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line, O'Neill Kosha, says the ship has a total of 600 crew members. We have recruited a lot of people from Freeport. Some of them stay, some of them choose not to continue, but, but it is our endeavor and we make best efforts to, to provide employment and opportunities. It was a tremendous task to get the ship ready for this cruise. She came all the way from Indian Ocean, was out at sea for 45 days, arrived in Freeport on the 9th, and we carried passengers on the 13th. Acting Prime Minister K. Peter Turnquist bringing brief remarks. He's calling the inaugural voyage a grand occasion for Grand Bahama. This company has been a partner in Grand Bahama for many years, and they have delivered quality guests, quality experiences, and entrepreneurial opportunities for many here on this island. This particular uh, uh, product is not focused on the, the hotel, trying to make a hotel profitable. They are focused on providing experiences for their guests. And I think that is, that is a world of difference. We as residents, we as employers and employees on Grand Bahama will benefit from that. All invited guests were taken on a tour of the ship and were treated to lunch in one of the vessel's dining areas. Reporting for ZNS Network News, I'm Italia Hall.